Okay. So the first thing is we will create our HTML form which will be used as a username and password entry point so that we can establish our sessions. Form name equals to login form method equals to post and action is that we go to create session.jsp page. So we have a special type called password which will going to force the non echo characters of the screen. I mean like it will be an echo character, we're gonna be a password character. done so we will now create our next page as create session.jsp so we will create a new web page this will be a JSP page make sure you choose JSP from the list it always remembers your previous selection so that's why make sure you check JS select JSP create session using JSP page directives here um, just case JSP scriptlets so we will going to grab the username again we use the request object dot get parameter And I'm grabbing password in string pass. If username is not equals to null, sorry, the name, and the length of the name is not equals to zero, only then I want to establish the session. Otherwise, I want to redirect. Okay. To establish a session, we use JSP session object dot set attribute. So you set a property. You can create as many session properties as you may like. You're not limited. However, in this case, we only want to store the username and not the password. So, the name of the property that I'm coming up is called username, and the value of this property will be the name that I accepted from the user. So the syntax is that the first entity is the attribute name, and the second entity is the attribute value. And again, you can have many attributes of a session. Next, I want to redirect. So to redirect, I use response dot send redirect. And in that case, I would like to redirect the user 
to the login page. So that's loginform.html. Now, to test this code, you simply run this code, and you will notice that when you run the create session.jsp, since I did not come through a login form and I'm directly visiting this link, it will redirect me to login form.html. Okay? S because that's what logic I said. I said if name is not equals to null and name.length is not equals to zero, only then establish a session. Otherwise, redirect. So if I run on server, I get redirected to login.ht. So that's exactly what we want to do in even in your project, okay? So now over here, in case if a person successfully creates a session, so whatever code I'm writing now will only going to be displayed if this person doesn't get redirected. So I'll say, okay, welcome. So and so, click the link below and see if server remembers you from page to page. So here I have a link to check session.jsp, which I am yet to create. <laughs> so the logic that I will write for check session.jsp is a logic that you must incorporate in your project. And that logic will be that the, the, the logic of the page will be dependent on if the session exists. Okay? And the username is so and so. Oh, I mean like not equals to null. So let's create our next JSP page. And we're going to call this one check session. And I have an if condition that checks to see if session dot get attribute username. That was the name of my attribute. I want to make sure that that attribute is not equals to null. Only then I want to do my code. Otherwise, if it doesn't exist then I would simply want to redirect the user to the login form. So from the session, I can call get attribute just like I can do set attribute, I can do get attribute. And that's what I did on in my if condition as well. I grab the attribute. Now I'm reading its value in a string. So since it returns an object, I'm casting it to a string type. And I'm displaying this back to the user.
and now I will going to give my user an opportunity to log out. <clears throat> and all of this is part of my if condition. So when you do your final project, you make sure that you have something similar. Your entire business logic should go in an if and else should be a redirect. Done? Okay. <clears throat> now let's create the logout.jsp. <laughs> and this is the most smallest sweetest code that you're going to create in order for you to get rid of a session is all you need to do is the session object you call invalidate and that destroys the session and then I can say response dot response dot send redirect login dot html login form dot html sorry login form dot html okay. now that we have created the whole journey from login form back to login form through the logout process so now let's start the process from login form .html. So we enter a username and then you click login. It says welcome Saad click the link below and see if server remembers you from page to page so I click here to check session now I'm going to check session it remembers me saying that your session username is Saad so it remembered me from the page before and I click log out so it redirects me to loginform.html okay now since I've completed the whole cycle let me see if I want to jump to check session. So check session, I'm jumping directly to that page. So I want to run as server check session. And notice what it does. It redirects me to login. Why? Because the check session says if the session does not exist, then redirect. So nobody can visit any of my pages and expect to see the content. So when you build your project, you have to make sure all your pages are structured this way. So if you uh, put your username in and then log out, then the back arrow and refresh would automatically validate the session well. I assume so. Oh, so you're saying like when you log in, let's go through the process, okay? So we're gonna run as on server. So I put a username and I put a password and I log in. Okay, click session logout, right? Yeah. So now you're saying if you, if you hit the back button. Yeah. Yeah. That is why it is advisable that when you log out, you must close the tab as well, because you leave the tab open, anybody could back and see all your pages. <laughs>